Now, we are going to be looking out expressing whole numbers as fractions. Whole numbers can be expressed as fractions. For example, a square is one whole. So how many squares do we have? Six. So we have six squares. So one so six squares represent six whole squares. Six is expressed as a fraction. So six is the numerator, because how many squares do we have? Six. And of course, each square is a whole. Six over one. Now, when you have a fraction like this, you want to get rid of it, and any time a number divided by 1 will be that number. Okay? Now, now this shows 6 squares divided into 4 equal parts. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? And then it will be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16, 20, 23, 24. Now, this shows you six squares divided into four equal parts, okay? How many squares do we have? Six. How many equal parts do we have? Well, take that back. How many equal parts do we have? 24. Okay. How many squares do we have? 6. Oh, I'm sorry. We have 4. 4 equal parts. So 24 divided by 4 is 6. So we have 6. Okay. Okay, now, which fraction describes the shaded part of the circle? Okay. We have how many circles? We have one circle, right? Okay. Now, how many slices are shaded? All eight, right? So there are eight equal, eight, there are eight equal parts, and all eight parts are shaded. So the answer has to be C. See, that's a part. Equal part, equal part, equal part, equal part, equal part, equal part, equal part. And all 8 is shaded. So 8 over 8 or 1 whole circle. Okay? Now, show 4, 4 in a circle. Okay? So we need to draw a circle. And we need to draw four equal parts. And then we need to shade in four. And there you go. Now show three, three on the number line. Okay. One third. Two third, three third. And what is three divided by three? One. So my dot would go right there. Okay. Now let's do some practice now. Which fraction describes the shaded part of the circle? Okay. We know there are three equal parts. Okay. And how many parts are shaded? Three. <gasps> and there you go. Now, let's look at number six. All right, now, which fraction a circle is a whole? Which fraction does this picture represent? Okay. How many equal parts do we have? One, two, three, four. Okay. And each equal part is what? Shaded. One, two, three, four. 
and there you go. Okay, now we got number seven. Sean, Sean bakes four pizzas. He cuts each pizza into eight equal pieces. Which fraction does a picture of the divided pizza look like? Okay, now he cuts into eight equal parts, right? So my bottom number is going to be eight. Now, how many is it shaded? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 24, 32. Okay. Number 8. Which model, which model represents 6 over 6? B. 6 equal parts, 6 shaded. Okay, now we're going to be looking at recognizing equivalent fractions. Okay? So you see here, two fractions are equivalent or equal if they have the same value. For example, a whole. Half of a whole, you have two squares, which is half and half. And then, of course, you have half of that, which is one four over one four. Because think of this as a whole, as a hundred. Okay? Think of a half as fifty. And think of a quarter is 25. Okay? Now, a half of a whole is half half, so let's say 50, 50. Okay? And now, and half of 50 is what? 25. And we do another 25. 25 plus 25 is 50. 50 plus 50 is 100 or a whole. Okay? Now, is 4 6 equivalent to 2 thirds? Draw a model to represent each fraction. Okay, there it is. 2 thirds equals 4 6. Is 4 6 equivalent to 2 thirds? Yes, it is. See here? See how I color those two shaded in? See how those two equals that one? And you see how these two equals this? area. There you go. Okay, name a fraction that is equivalent to three-fourths. Draw a circle and show three-fourths, which they did for you. Okay, now divide each fourth into two equal parts to make eighths. Okay, well, since they've already did it, I'm going to show you, okay? And there we go. I got four equal parts to make eight, okay? Two, four, six, eight. Now, so, with that in mind, so now I got eight, and how many is shaded? Six. Is three quarters equivalent to six eight? Yes, it is. And also, two, if you reduce fraction six over eight, what number can go into two and six? I mean, six and eight. Two. So, what is six divided by two? Well, what's half of six? Three. And then 8 divided by 2 was, excuse me, was half of 8? 4. And there you go. So 3 fourths is equivalent to 6 eighths. Now, let's look at number 1, shall we? What do the shape, shaded parts of this picture show? Okay. Alright. First of all, let's look at my first one. How many parts do we have? Three. How many are shaded? One. Okay. Do an equal sign. Now, how many shaded, how many equal parts do we have on that one? Six. How many is shaded? Two. <gasps> Let 
There you go. And if you want to shave their equal, remember two six can be reduced. So what number can both can go into both two and six? Two. Okay, so 2 divided by 2 and 6 divided by 2 gives me, what's 2 divided by 2? 1. What's 6 divided by 2? Well, what's half of 6? 3. And that's how you can double check your answer if, if you need to. Okay, now, now, round a fraction that is equivalent to 2 thirds. Okay, got my two-thirds. Now, what fraction is equivalent to two-thirds? Well, it'll be four over six multiplied by two. Now, number four, shade the model to show that one half is equals three six. Okay, so my first one is one half, so this is my one half. So this is all colored in. There we go, and then three six, and there you go, and that's how you shade that. Okay, now. Now, which model shows that one-third is equal to six? Okay, now let's look at A. A, I got one over four and two over eight. Are those those? Nope. Let's look at letter B. B, I got what? One over three. Okay, got three equal parts, one shaded. Okay, here I got six equal parts, two shaded. Look at that. Do these two numbers match those two numbers? Yes. So the answer is B. Okay, now. Taisha made a tile that was divided into equal squares. Select all of the fractions that represent the parts of the whole tile that are white. So, okay, now, I know I got eight squares, okay? And how many squares are white? Four, eight. So, I know B is the answer. Now, if I take all four whites, put these two whites over here, and move these two over here, so that all this is shaded, And all this is all clear, so that means I'll have what? Two equal, two equal parts and one shaded. So we know A is an answer. What about C? Well, we know it has eight equal parts, right? But how many, are there three white boxes? No. What about D? And we know it can't be E. Because in order for it to be E, all the boxes have to be shaded. Okay, now, which statement is true? A, 2, 8, does 2, 8 equals 1, 3? Well, let's see. Can two, what can go into 2 and 8? 2, right? Gives me 1, 4. Is that 1, 4? Nope. What about B? 3, 6. Well, we know that can't be it because you want your numbers to go down, not up. What about 2 thirds and 2 fourths? Nope. So the only answer has to be D.